Hi everyone, this is Heather here with Treasured Hometown. Today I wanted to take a minute and show you how to make one of these lovely little plushy crochet heart pillows. These pillows actually work up very quickly. I think I made mine in about 45 minutes. It uses less than one skein of yarn. And then just depending on how uh, full, firm, or soft you want your pillow, depends on how much poly stuffing that you'll need. They're a perfect little addition for, especially with kids, inside of a reading nook. Give them that little holiday festive addition for them to go snuggle with while they're enjoying their book, playing on a game, or even for yourself, and a fun decoration added right to your couch or favorite chair. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. For this pattern, we're going to need a couple of supplies. We'll need a pair of scissors in order to cut our yarn. We will need some polyfill. This will actually take quite a bit of polyfill in order to stuff our hearts. I am using, this is a number six weight, super bulky yarn. It's actually brunette blanket yarn. So it's a very nice heavy duty yarn. And for this, I will be using an eight millimeter crochet hook in order to complete this project and yes I will be posting all the materials I'm using in this pattern in the video description box below. To begin this pattern we're going to take our yarn and we want to create a magic ring. And then from here we will chain one. Now, if you have a hard time trying to keep track of where you are throughout your pattern, you can easily use a marker, which can be anything. It can be a scrap piece of yarn and attach it right to the first stitch at the beginning of your row. So we chained one and then what we want to do is put six single crochets into the magic ring. Now that we have our six single crochets into our ring, we want to take our tail end of our magic ring and simply pull it in order to close. Now our marker was put into our first chain one of the round. We are not going to work into that chain one stitch. We're going to start into the first single crochet stitch of our next round because we're going to be working this pattern in the round. So into that first single crochet stitch, we're going to put two single crochets for round two. And we're going to put two single crochets into each of the next five stitches. I'm going to go ahead and put the marker back at onto our first single crochet of the round that we made. All right, so round two ended up having 12 stitches made and there we are with the end of round two. For round three we're going to start off and do two single crochets into our first stitch. I'll go ahead and put my marker back in there also. And then into the next stitch we're going to put one single crochet and we're just going to repeat this going all the way around our entire piece. Two single crochets into the first, one single crochet into the next, so increase and then a single crochet. And this round will end up having a total of 18 single crochet stitches made. And there we are with the end of round three. Now for round four, once again, we're going to increase into our first stitch. So two single crochets into our first stitch. And I'll go ahead and replace my marker. 
And then we're going to do one single crochet into the next two stitches. And we're going to repeat this going all the way around. Two single crochets into your first stitch, one single crochet into your next two stitches. And this round will end up having a total of 24 single crochet stitches made. And now for round five, we're going to start off and in our first stitch, we're going to do two single crochets again. So an increase. I'm going to put my marker back into that very first stitch and then I'm going to single crochet once into the next three stitches. So and we want to repeat this going all the way around two single crochets into your first stitch, one single crochet into your next three stitches. And this round will end up having a total of 30 single crochet stitches made. And there we are with the end of round five. Now for round six through ten, we're simply going to single crochet once into each stitch going all the way around. So essentially what we're going to do is single crochet 150 times continuing in the circle going all the way around which will complete all of the rows to the end of round 10. Or you can also keep just replacing the marker and keeping count of each row. That is another method. For me it's just easier to count because we are in fact working in the round. So it's just easier for me to count and go 150 stitches for you know each row all combined. So I'll meet you back here as soon as I've completed all those stitches. All right, and here we are with the end of round 10. So from here, what we're going to want to do is go ahead and tie off, leaving our tail a bit long. And then we want to go back to beginning and repeat this process and make one more of these. And I'll meet you back here as soon as you get that one done. All right, so we've completed our second piece. On our second one, we are not tying off. Now we're going to take our first piece, and what we're going to do is come in here, and we're going to start working right into this first stitch right here. And we're going to join this stitch with this stitch here. So we're going to insert our hook into that stitch and that one. And into here, we're going to put two single crochets. Now I'll go ahead and I'll put the marker right here just to show where it's at. And then from here, what we're going to want to start doing is working around so we're going to end up doing one single crochet. So this actually it kind of took away one stitch, but it's also adding one stitch. So we still have all of our stitches going around and we're going to want a single crochet all the way around here until we get back to the beginning and then continue single crocheting around this side. All right, now that we're back right here at the beginning, we're going to come, so we did a total of 30. We're going to come right in here to the next side. We're going to continue single crocheting into there. And there we are, all the way back at the very beginning. So we should have done altogether a total 
of 60 single crochet stitches going all the way around. So what this is, is the top right here of our heart that we're just stitching together. All right, now for rounds 12, 13, and 14, what we're going to do is simply single crochet into each stitch all the way around the entire opening of our heart. And those will be 60 single crochet stitches per row. So our first stitch will go right into where our marker was. And we can remove our marker and replace. Or once again, as I like to look at it, there's three rows of 60 stitches that we got to do. So I'm just, and we're working it around. I'm going to single crochet 180 times and we're going to simply come right around, follow our stitches because we are kind of ignoring this where we stitched it together in the center. That's just stitches to hold it together. And I am keeping the tail long and tucked inside just so in case I need to stitch together at all to hold any of the stitching nice and tight and together. And I'll meet you back here once I get the, to the end of round 14. All right, so here we are. We've just completed row 14. As you can see, the top of our heart is starting to form up here. Now for round 15, what we're going to want to do is start with doing a single crochet decrease. So we go into the stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop. So we have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all three stitches, all three loops. And there is our decrease. I'm going to go ahead and put my marker in there. Just to mark the beginning of the row. You can choose to use them or not. And then what we want to do is single crochet once into the next four stitches. And then we just want to repeat this going all the way around single crochet decrease single crochet once into the next four stitches. In this round, you're going to end up having a total of 50 stitches made. And there we are with the end of round 15. Now for round 16 and 17, what we want to do is single crochet once into each stitch going all the way around the opening. So each row is going to have a total of 50 single crochet stitches made into there. Or if the way I like to look at it, because we are working in the round, two rows, 50 stitches each, I want to create 100 single crochet stitches made. And I'll meet you back here as soon as I've completed round 17. All right, so I've just completed round 17. Let's show you how the heart is starting to form up more. Now for round 18, this row we're actually doing is a decrease row. So we want to do a single crochet decrease into our first stitch. So once again, a single crochet decrease is go into your first stitch and pull up a loop into your next stitch and pull up a loop yarn over and we have three loops on our hook. We want to pull through all three loops and there's our first decrease. I'm going to replace the marker and then what we want to do is into the next three stitches we want to put one single crochet and we want to repeat this going all the way around the whole opening of our heart so it's one single crochet decrease and then one single crochet into your next three stitches. In this round, we'll end up having a total of 40, sing 40 stitches made. All right, now that we're at the end of round 18, 
for rows 19 and 20. These two rows are very simply, we're going to single crochet once into each stitch going all the way around. So each row will end up having a total of 40 single crochet stitches made. Or the way I like to look at it is because we're working in the round, we're going to single crochet 80 times. So however you prefer to look at it, I will be right back as soon as I'm done with those two rows. Right, and here we are. We've finished up round 20. Now for round 21, this is also another decrease row. So we're going to decrease, so into our first stitch. So go into your first stitch, pull up a loop, go into your next stitch and pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over and go through all three stitch loops. I'm going to put my marker back on there just in order to keep track. And then we're going to single crochet once into your next two stitches. And we're going to repeat this going all the way around the whole opening of our bag for row 21. And this row is going to end up having a total of 30 stitches made. So decrease, single crochet once into your next two, and there we are with the end of round 21. Around 22, you're simply doing one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. So we'll end up doing 30 single crochet stitches. And here we are with the end of round 22. Now going forward for round 23. We're going to start this one off. This is a decrease row also. So we're going to single crochet, decrease. So go into your first stitch, pull up a loop, go into your next stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on our hook, yarn over and go through all three loops. Replace our marker into there. And then we're going to single crochet into our next stitch. And then we're just going to repeat that going all the way around, single crochet decrease, and then single crochet into our next stitch. In this round, we're going to end up creating a total of 20 stitches. And there we are with the end of round 23. Round 24 is a very simple. We're just going to single crochet once into your next 20, once into each stitch going all the way around. So this round will end up having a total of 20 single crochet stitches made. And there we are with the end of round 24. Now here, because our opening is getting a little small, you can actually go ahead and start stuffing your heart if you want. Now you can add as little or as much stuffing as you want into this. But the very end, I do say leave that kind of light because we're still going to be working into that little bit. All right, so I've added some stuffing into my heart pillow. I more so added it to the very tips of the heart. Um, just because it's the most hardest spot to try and fill as the opening gets smaller. All right. And now for our next round, round 25. Here it's changing up just a little bit more. We're going to single crochet decrease. So go into your stitch, pull up a loop. Go into your next stitch, pull up a loop three loops, yarn over, go through all three stitches or all three loops and we're going to place our marker right there. And now we're going to single crochet once into your next two stitches and then we're going to repeat this going all the way around. We're going to end up doing a total of 15 stitches made on this row. 
So decrease. And then single crochet into your next two. And there we are with the end of round 25. For round 26, we're going to single crochet once into your next 15 stitches. And there we are with the end of round 26. Now we only have two rounds left to go. So here I would actually recommend finish stuffing your heart pillow before we begin round 27. All right, now my pillow is fully stuffed all the way. So for round 27, what we're gonna do is single crochet, decrease. So into your stitch, pull up a loop. Into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through all three loops on our hook. Replace the marker. And then we're gonna single crochet into the next stitch. And then we're gonna repeat, single crochet, decrease. Single crochet into the next stitch. And we're gonna repeat this all the way around. And this round is end up, gonna end up having a total of 10 stitches made. All right, and there's the end of round 27. Now for 28, we're finishing it all up. So I'm just gonna take my marker right out. And what we're gonna do is single crochet decrease a total of five times. So into your stitch, pull up a loop. Next stitch, pull up a loop. Three loops, yarn over and go through all three loops. And we're gonna wanna do that four more times. And there we are for the very end of our heart. Now, if your opening is still open a little bit more to make it more of a little point, add in an extra couple single crochet decreases and adding an extra two. And then from there, pull up a long loop and tie off and then we'll just use this long tail in order to weave in our ends now this is actually how you'd go about weaving in the ends without the use of a darning needle normally i do prefer to use a darning needle but with the fact that this is a bulky weight and the difficulty of trying to weave it into a darning needle is extremely difficult. So I'm choosing not to use a darning needle onto this project. Now you can continue down as much as you want. And there we are. Here is our crochet heart pillow. Now, just as a reminder, you can always adjust the hook and the yarn uh, weight and also to create different sizes of these. I have actually made them in a number four weight, so it created a very small little stuffed heart pillow. I've also created them in a number three weight, so it made a very small you just need to adjust your hook size accordingly thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a little thumbs up like let me know in the comments what you think and if you have yet to subscribe go ahead and hit that little subscribe button with that little bell notification next to it and you can get a heads up every time i post a new video thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day